Um, hello everybody, so for this video we're going to be talking about EMF and terminal voltage and how they work together and compare and contrast to each other. So just to start off, we're going to define some terms that we'll be using. Um, so first, our EMF is going to be the induced potential um, that is in a, a voltage source when no current is moving. And um, this is able to increase our electric potential energy. So just like if you had a hill and you had a ball that was going up the hill, that ball would be increasing in potential energy. And so EMF kind of does the same thing, but with electrical in, um, energy in a circuit. And on the other side of that, resistance is going to decrease um, the potential energy. So if the ball was falling down the hill, then it would be losing potential energy. And that's kind of what resistance does. And we're going to be using two different kinds of resistance today. So we have our internal resistance, which is the inherent resistance that comes um, within a voltage source. And um, then we have our R load, which is any resistance that is added to a circuit. So this could come in the form of a light bulb or just anything that is added to the circuit that resists the current. Um, and then lastly, we have terminal voltage which is the output voltage from a terminal. So it's kind of what is actually being outputted. Um, and this can be defined in equations, which we have V equals our EMF minus our current, or I, times little r, which is our internal resistance. And so we'll notice that if there's no current flowing, then our EMF is going to equal our terminal voltage. But once there's current going, our terminal voltage is going to be less than our EMF. Okay, and we can apply this um, into looking at a circuit diagram. So for example, we have this circuit diagram where we have a battery that has an EMF of 20 volts. And this is going to increase um, the electric potential energy of the circuit. And um, we have our current flowing this way, and then it hits a resistor that has 10 ohms. And this is an added resistor. And then we also have an internal resistance of 0.25 ohms. So we're going to do this example problem where it wants us to find the terminal voltage of the circuit. And so we can do that by using these two equations. And um, the first one we already identified over here as the terminal voltage equals EMF minus IR. And then to find I, or the current, we have this equation from Ohm's law, which is EMF over our total resistance. And so if we do that here, we can first start by finding I and then plug it in to the voltage equation. So um, we have our I is going to equal our EMF, which is 20 volts over our total resistance. And because these are in series, we can just add them together. So it's going to be 10 ohms plus 0.25 ohms. And if we plug that into our calculator, we get current equals 1.95 amps. Um, and then we can plug that into our terminal voltage equation. So we have voltage equals 20 volts minus and then our current 1.95 amps times our internal resistance, which is 0.25 ohms. And if we plug that all in, then we get an answer that our voltage is 18.05 volts. And this makes sense um, that our terminal voltage is less than our EMF of 20 volts because we have current flowing. And so it's going to be smaller than our EMF. Batteries, we have a AA battery and a AAA battery. Um, and the AA battery is bigger than the AAA battery, but they both have an EMF of 1.5 volts. Um, but just even though they have the same EMF, um, a AA battery is generally used to um, power um, Okay, so we have these two different batteries that we're going to look at. We have a AA battery and a AAA battery. Um, both of these batteries have an EMF of 1.5 volts. 
Um, but the AA battery is generally used to power electronics that require more energy and more power. But why is that? If they both have the same EMF, why can a AA battery um, produce more power for electronics? Well, the answer comes from our equation that we were using earlier of I equals EMF over our total resistance or our load plus our internal resistance. Um, because a AA battery is bigger than a AAA battery, it's going to have less internal resistance. And because of that, this number is going to be smaller, making our current larger. And because it has a larger current, um, it'll be able to produce more power and more energy.